John Ehrlichman, my man. What's up? How is everybody today? Everyone doing well? It's good to see you. It's good to hang out with you. It's good to be with you. Hey, how are you? Um, I'm glad you're here. Welcome. It's Monday. Uh, Mondays are great. Hi, everybody. Everyone's saying hello. Happy Monday to you. Um, it's great to see you guys. Good evening to you. Good evening to you. Those eyes. Well, thank you. Well, hey, <clears throat> if we haven't met, hello. My name is Jay Howard. Uh, I live here in the LA, Orange County area. I am an aspiring television host. Uh, so it's my goal in my career and one of my goals in life to be a television host, maybe host my own TV show one day. So because of that, I do a little live daily show uh, here on Periscope in the evenings called Live with Jay. I'm 27. And so that's what this is. That's what you've arrived at here is uh, you have a great voice for hosting. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, this is my little live daily show called Live with Jay. And so uh, we do all kinds of things on the daily show. Sometimes it's funny. Sometimes it's serious. Sometimes we do a how-to. Sometimes we, I don't know, we do all kinds of things. It's crazy. But tonight, today, this evening, hey, Lisa, hello from California. Uh, we are uh, going to be doing a movie review. We've done a couple of movie reviews before. People tend to like them, so we're going to do a movie review. You have the look. Well, thank you. Uh, you guys are blowing up the hearts, which I appreciate. Uh, you guys are legit. I really appreciate it. And I'm trying to get to 2 million hearts. So you're helping me out. And so thank you. Uh, if you're not following me, please follow me. Also, it's nice to meet you. So as I said, we do this uh, the Live with Jay Daily Show every evening. And tonight, um, we're going to be talking about Jurassic World. I don't know. Uh, let me know in the comments if you've seen Jurassic World. And just like thumbs up or thumbs down, whatever you think about it. But I saw it this weekend with my wife. And we're big movie people. We like movies. Uh, we like movies. I think we're like a good mix. Okay, some people saw them. Okay, I like the little hand raised emoji. That's good. Uh, it was good. Okay, so most people have seen it, I feel like, which is cool. Uh, we are, uh, just a little bit about us, we, are, we like movies. And I would say we're a good mix of like people who are can talk about like the criticisms of movies um, uh, and then also talk about like just whether movies were fun and interesting to watch and entertaining to watch right so we saw Jurassic World for uh, this past Friday and uh, you're a movie buff too well great well you're gonna you're gonna welcome to the uh, welcome to the family um, we saw it on Friday for a date night and uh, I have to be honest, you know, it was really fun. And I think for a, you know, for a movie like this, for a summertime movie, if you don't know about movies, you know, the the Oscars are in are, are in February, so a lot of the good kind of Oscar winning movies, a lot of times they come out in the fall because they are trying to kind of get the Oscar timing to get an Oscar nod. So usually, if you don't know about kind of the music, the movie industry, usually the summertime is when the you know kind of big blockbuster fun movies come out, and that is exactly what Jurassic World was. And for shooting for that fun, big blockbuster movie, it killed it. I loved it. Um, so, um, you know, is it going to win Oscars? No, but that's not that's not the purpose of it. The purpose of it uh, is to, to have fun. And I had fun watching the movie. So first of all, Chris Pratt is a baller. I, I am a huge fan of Chris Pratt. Uh, we, you know, I, I, I think everybody, was he on anything else besides Park and, uh, before Park and Rec, Parks and Rec? I, I can't think of anything. If he is, then I, I don't know. But that's when I started watching him. I thought he was really funny. And, uh, you know, I, I saw, I started seeing him in, in a few different things and, 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 and really, really enjoyed him, really liked him. And uh, then he came out in Guardians of the Galaxy. And I'm like, you know, he got in good shape and he went from kind of like, like pudgy, you know, funny guy, like kind of the, 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 the chubby funny guy to like oh dang this dude's kind of legit like I want to be I want to be friends with this guy you know and, and and maybe some girls think he's attractive or whatever and uh so now he's that guy and so if you will if if I may if I may say it like this he's kind of pulled a Matthew McConaughey which is you know Matthew McConaughey kind of went from like the romantic comedy kind of goofy movies to all of these legit baller movies Dallas Buyers Club Interstellar and now he's this like legit actor right and I am saying that's kind of the year that Chris Pratt is having right now I think um so so I, I I think Chris Pratt did a great job in it, and uh, Jay's got a man crush on Chris Pratt. Maybe so. I want to be friends with him. He seems like a good dude. He just seems like a, a fun guy to dra grab a drink with. With so Chris Pratt, if you're watching it, I'll buy you a beer. Let's hang out. You seem like a good dude. Um, and so and he was cast perfectly, just in this in this you know kind of uh, you know serious role that was like really kind of cheeky and funny. He did a great job with it. Interacted with his co-stars really well. So uh, I was I was a big fan of casting Pr Chris Pratt, and I think he's going to go on to do big things and I loved him in this movie. It was really fun. Um, you know, the, the special effects were awesome. 
I was like shocked. Uh, I'm not gonna give any big spoilers. I won't spoil it. Don't worry. You can stay. You can stay tuned. I'm not gonna spoil anything. But obviously, there's dinosaurs. Shocker. I'm just gonna let you know. There's dinosaurs in the movie. If that's a spoiler. Welcome to Planet Earth. There are dinosaurs in the movie, and they looked great. Uh, Chris Pratt will be the next Indiana Jones. I know there's a lot of people that are saying that Chris Pratt will be the next Indiana Jones, and I love it. He was wearing that like kind of Indiana Jones looking vest the whole movie. He rocked it. He killed it. Um, and so the, the special effects was, were awesome. The dinosaurs looked great, uh, like even way more realistic than I thought that they could. So I was very impressed with that. And I mean, overall, you know, what, here's here's my favorite thing about about the movie was. You know, I, I grew up in kind of the late 90s. I grew up in, in when, when uh, Jurassic, the original Jurassic Park movies were coming out. And so, you know, it's kind of nostalgic for me. I remember them coming out and, you know, people watching them and being so scared of the, of the T-Rex, you know, all, all that, you know, we all remember the scene where the water is sitting in the, in the car and you hear the poof and, you, you know, you see it kind of ripple. Um, I like the movie, but it made me laugh. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, I mean, overall, um, seriously, how did she not break her heels? Yes, this is not a spoiler, but uh, the the female actress uh, runs ba spends basically half the movie in heels, running in heels, and everyone is curious as to how she was able to sprint in heels. I don't know, but it's movie magic, right? Uh, that that was the best special effect of all. So, but it, it, one thing, my favorite part about movie, the movie is this: is they really played off of the, the the nostalgia of the audience, and I think that they had a really they really. Um, uh, you ruined it because you told them there are dinosaurs in it. Well, I'm sorry if that was a spoiler to you, but um, you, you know, they, they, I think they knew their audience really well and they knew that people like me and my wife and my friends and people who remembered the older movies and, and have good memories of the old movies and like the old movies are going to be going to see it. So they put in a lot of, um, uh, you know, little throwbacks there where the person picking up their margaritas while running. Yes, do you know who that was? That's a that's a little fun fact too. In the movie, there is a person who, you know, dinosaurs are kind of running running wild and they pick up their, as everyone, mayhem and pandemonium is going crazy, they make sure that they're not, they're not spilling their drinks. I'm not going to ruin it for you as to who it is, but look it up. Don't, no one comment. Don't ruin it. Uh, but look it up if you're interested and see who the person who's trying to make sure that they haven't spilled their drinks is. It's really funny. And, and they, there's, there's just a couple of little, um, there's a couple of little throwbacks and nods to the old, uh, to the old movie. And I like that. It's fun. It, it, it makes the movie what it's supposed to be. And that's fun. Um, so the ending was awesome. I was very satisfied with how they wrapped it up. I think that there's probably going to be another sequel. So overall, Jurassic World was, I mean, I, I, I would just say the, the, the best way to say it is fun. It was exactly what you wanted it to be when you're going to see a summer movie and you're wanting to grab a Coke and just sit there and eat popcorn and drink your drink and watch a fun movie and be entertained. It was that and it did a great job. Um, you don't need to have seen the first one to enjoy this one. Absolutely, you don't need to have seen the first one. This one stands on its own and so I would really recommend you guys go see it. Jurassic World gets two, three thumbs up from uh, J and company. So there you go. Um, that was a little movie review. Like I said, I try to, I try to mix it with like being a little bit uh, like having a little bit of criticism, uh, with, you know, uh, just being fun and saying as a movie watcher, did I like it or did not? Am I going to see Ant-Man? I'll probably see it. Yeah. Why not? Too scary for a 10 year old. Um, it's borderline. Yeah. I, she could probably handle it. Um, uh, so yeah. Uh, you only got two thumbs, bro. I know, but I like swung this one over on this side. You know what I'm saying? So there was two thumbs and pff, the third. I enjoyed it that much. You want to see Ant Man? Yeah, Ant Man. Ant Man looks fun. Uh, you know, it's Paul Rudd. And I like Paul Rudd a lot. I'm a big Paul Rudd fan. So you know, uh, it looks fun. You speak very fast, friend. I try. I try. Um, so there you go. That's my movie review. If you ever want to go see a movie with me, you can buy my ticket and we'll be there. Um, so <laughs> you took your 11 year old, 11 year old. She loved it. Okay, there you go. See, not too scary. Not too scary. So uh, say hello to Brazil. Hello, Brazil. So uh, once again, I, I know some new people jumped on. If we haven't met, my name is Jay Howard. I live here in the LA area. I'm an aspiring TV host. So this, I do this live with Jay is what I call it, show every evening. And tonight we just did uh, we just did a little movie review. We'll do stuff, all, all, all kinds of different things. So I wanted to remind you guys of one more thing. You going to play scope games? We might, we might. Um, I, I want to remind, remind you guys of one more thing. I am doing a giveaway that is going on right now just for you guys. Um, and it is for some sunglasses from Woodsy. Uh, Woodsy is a sunglass company that you entered. All right, uh, is is a sunglass company. It's really cool. Their sunglasses have a really like wood 
uh, feel to them. And uh, I got, I got some that have like the blue inline, um, stuff. So you're, uh, we're giving away for free. Uh, they're going to ship you a brand new pair of sunglasses. It's not these cause I'm wearing these. These are mine. Uh, but we're, we're going to be shipping a brand new pair to you. And, um, so if, you know, if you like these, if you're a guy, you know, enter. And if you're a girl, then they'll send you kind of a girl version of these, but one's very similar to these, but for girls. So uh, all you have to do to enter is find me on, on uh, Instagram. Woodsy wanted to do the, ins uh, the, uh, the giveaway via Instagram. So just find me on Instagram. It's at jlives1, the same handle as here on Periscope, or you can just look at my Twitter. It's connected to my Twitter. Go to my Instagram and, and there's just a couple little steps of just follow me, like the picture and follow Woodsy and you're entered and you're good to go. So, uh, and then we'll be announcing the winner uh, tomorrow. And, uh, and then they'll ship you a brand new pair. And they're like legit. They're really high quality sunglasses and they look cool and they're good to go. So that's it right there. At JLives1 is the, uh, is the handle. So you can screenshot that. Um, so just screenshot the handle. What do I do? Uh, screenshot the handle. Go find me on Instagram. Uh, or if you look at my latest tweet, it's, it's, uh, it connects to my Instagram. And, uh, and, and all you have to do, it, the directions will be in, on, my, on the picture I just tweeted. Uh, I'm sorry, the picture I just posted. And all you have to do is just follow me, like the picture, and follow Woodsy, and you are entered. It's really easy. So just go to my Instagram and just read the comments. It, it's really easy, really quick. It'll take you 10 seconds and you can enter it and they'll ship them to you for free and you'll get brand new sunglasses that are really cool and really stylish and really awesome. So I just wanted to do that with you for you guys because I like doing stuff for you. I like doing giveaways for you. So there you go. Check it out. Uh, hey, if you're not following me here on Periscope, make sure you're following me so that we can be friends and uh, we can hang out and we can be best buds. So we'll see you soon. Have a great night. Bye.